Hidden Object Guru here with some Dark Souls. Now, I've been open about the fact that every game <laughs> requires an easy mode. I don't think there's an excuse for not having an easy mode in a game. But uh, very few people agree with me on that. <laughs> and most video games do not have easy modes. So what we're doing is we're playing Dark Souls with Plitch, the uh, cheat applying program. They were kind enough to hook me up with a code to try out their premium version that's full of many different cheats for three months. I don't know how much this actually costs, but I assume it's some amount per month. Ten, fifteen dollars. Who knows? But the key part is, as you can see, there are quite a few interesting cheats available to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new game of Dark Souls. We're going to load it up. And we're going to create a brand new character and just cheat the hell out of this thing. Uh, one thing, I will say, it is very convenient. Like, I didn't have to download Dark Souls specific files or anything. I literally just downloaded Plitch, put in the password, and now we're cheating at Dark Souls. So let's see how this goes. Okay, Dark Souls it is. Brand new game. I'm fine with the brightness level. I am fine with all of this. I assume. You know what? Sure. Okay, and I'm playing with controllers, none of that matters. Alright, uh, obviously. Uh, Oguru, done. Oh, I have to press enter. The doy. Fine. Apparently the color of my shaved hair is black. Who could have imagined? Uh, it's fine to start the game with that character. That is a lot of cutscenes to skip through. Alright, so let's get to it. Uh, go into my character select screen. Let's start powering me up. Alright, so if I want more health, I have to press home and F6. So, home... Actually, let's increase our other stats first. See a natural increase to uh, health. So my intelligence is Alt F2 and Alt F3. Alright, so... Okay. Yeah, there it goes. Ooh, we can get a... Oh, you can't get a hundred. It maxes out at... Uh... Oh, this is weird. It keeps going up. But only marginally, so... It says I'm stopped at 99 and restarting, but the numbers didn't reset, so I might actually... Like, it can't display it, but I might have 400 intelligence right now. That was weird. Right, let's increase our faith. That's not as important. My physical defense is boss as hell. I mean, I am wearing armor, but, you know, still. Alright. No! <laughs> Keep screwing up. Alright, I will... I will be back when everything is full. Okay, here's something interesting. None of this is increasing my hit points. I get, look, it's increasing my equipment, increasing my equipment load and whatnot, but none of my hit points are ever getting increased. I wonder why that is. I guess it's the way it's programmed. My right weapon isn't increasing in damage at all, no matter how high my strength gets, although my right is a broken hilt, so that's not exactly a shock. Okay, and done. Oh, is there no way to increase my resistance? Intelligence, will, vitality, and will is faith, obviously. Uh, vitality, sorcery, endurance, dexterity, soul level. Why would I want to increase my soul level? I mean, I'll try it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but you can increase your soul level. Uh, alright, now let's turn on... Let's just get a bunch of max health, shall we? Since we can't do it any other way. Home F6. There we go. That's the hit points I crave. 1500 should be plenty, right? Is that too much? What's a good amount of health for playing this game? And then we're not going to bother increasing our stamina because we're going to turn on unlimited stamina. So that's home F11. I wonder what god mode means. There's also a god mode that we'll test later. I'm very curious to find out what that means. But uh, yeah, let's go 
Oh. Luckily, they left a key for me here in the corner. Hey, there was a ghost over there. He said, as if he'd never played Dark Souls before. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh, Asylum Demon. He seems like he has issues. Who could blame him? Hey, at least that guy stopped banging his head against a wall. Let's find something to kill. Alright, first things first. Can we fight a demon? Oh, he's not here. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. You, even if I have a maximum everything, you're not allowed to fight the demon yet. You only do two points of damage per hit. No matter how high leveled you are. Now I know what you're saying. Couldn't you have tried to kill him anyway? And I would say that, yes, I could have. But that would defeat the purpose of uh, playing it on easy. Because we would have been here for an hour and a half. Watching me hit him uh, two hit points at a time. Will I come back later and try that using god mode? Yeah, probably. Oh, hey, let's try god mode now. So that's home F12. Home F10. Alright, so theoretically I should not take any damage when he hits me now. He will have to hit me to test that. He just ran away, didn't he? Alright, that was embarrassing. But I've got a shield now, so yay. Okay, I would love to pillage a corpse. Get myself an actual weapon to fight with. Oh, wait. Yep, you take no damage. I mean, I'm not going to leave god mode on now. But uh, soon enough, we'll probably be god moding our way through every boss. I gotta say, 172 is not sounding like the giant monster damage I was expecting. Is it possible the damage in this game is largely based on what weapon you're using? And as a consequence, I'm not going to get the huge bonuses I was hoping for from having a giant character with ridiculous amounts of health. And yes, I do remember the boulder. I've played this game before. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you. Floor 2, East Key. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. So he comes back as a zombie later to try and kill me, right? Alright, wasting dude should be a breeze. One. Oh no, I'm getting a hit. You're the guys who are supposed to die. Having an unlimited stamina is uh, kind of awesome. Now, let's see how quickly this boss goes down. Hey! I actually managed to parry somebody. Nice. Of course, it's locked. Do I remember where to get the key to that door? No! I don't. So, hmm. Not my finest moment. Alright, Asylum Demon. Yeah, you see me. Oh my god! That's fantastic! Let's wrap this up. I cannot tell you how satisfying that was. Oh hey, uh, let's go see if that guy's zombied out yet, huh? Wow. Wait, what is that? Listen! I'm here. The... There's a second asylum demon! The guy from underground who we saw earlier isn't the same guy you fight up here? There's another guy running around? How did I not know that? If I come back later, will there be another asylum demon to fight? Probably, right? Those are some loud footsteps you got there, buddy. Okay, is he here? Where'd he go? Oh. Maybe I have to, like, come back later in the game after I've, uh... uh after I've accomplished something. 
I will use. I will have you know sit down and pretend to pretend to be an egg in that nest, and the giant bird will bring me back here. But it's kind of cool that the uh, other asylum demon is still stomping around downstairs. Okay, I've successfully rekindled my humanity. Uh, actually, I haven't. I look like a, I still look like a zombie. I have to do it at the bonfire. I just used one. Uh, reverse hollowing. All right, now I've got a nice human face, which will uh... actually it's not going to accomplish much. But I'm glad to have it. Why do I have 10 uses of my Estus Flask? Is that determined by one of your stats? God, I know so... I've played every Dark Souls game there is, and I know so little about them. Oh, right, this guy. The Molotov Cocktail guy from upstairs. I know they're actually firebombs, but you know. Molotov is a very fun word to say. Oh... I mean, slaughtering these guys isn't much of an accomplishment. You kind of always do that when you start this game. Although I will admit to uh, being so unsure of myself when first playing this game that I farmed these guys for like 20 minutes. Just collecting hit points until I uh, felt like I had leveled up enough to take on this area. I think the dragon sent me running in terror. I never get used to that. Every time. I find it unnerving. God, imagine how much these guys would be hurting with me if I didn't have infinite health. Uh, well, not infinite health. Well, I could turn on god mode and have infinite health, but ridiculously high resistance. Which I got from leveling up my intelligence for some reason. So this is the bonfire, and this is the place back up if I recall correctly, from the Dragon Tower. Hey, let's go take on one of those Dark Troopers. I love these guys. Can I sneak up behind him and stab him in the back? And if so, am I high enough level to one-hit him? Well, I didn't... Oh my god, I'm doing no damage to this guy. What is happening? Whoa! You know I'm cheating at this game, right? I'm about to die. Whoa! Alright. Oh my god, this is terrible. I really thought I could, uh... Ow! Hey, buddy! Excuse me. I'm just gonna run away from you for a second. This is not the easy cheating experience I was promised. Alright, here we go. Wait, that didn't delay him? Or stagger him? Finally! So, for the record, I know what you think. Well, hey, I got the Black Knight Shield. Awesome. I know what you're thinking. Hey, hidden object, Guru. Uh, aren't you cheating at this game? Isn't it supposed to be easy? Well, apparently you still have to know how to parry. No matter how easy the game is set to, if you don't know how to parry, you're still kind of Nixoned hardcore. Like, that was... That was brutal. And I'm cheating. Okay. Uh, that means... What's his name? Havel? What, what's the guy's name? The guy with the ridiculously heavy armor. He's a couple of floors down for me, but I can't get there yet. So I just have to go up and fight the, uh, I want to say, giant minotaur demon? Okay, let's do this! That, uh... Now, it might look like I'm running away from him. And it might be true. But I wanted to see if I could do the jump down and bonus damage attack on him. Or if he's just going to hop up here really fast. Not even close. Ah. 
Whoa! Okay, he's still doing big damage. No matter how... I am not good at dodging. Or really anything. Well, cheating. I'm okay at cheating. Ugh. Yes, uh, spoiler alert. That was a lot fewer deaths than I'm used to in winning that fight. Like, a lot of them. And I'm just thinking about all of the times I previously played this game having to make my way all through the undead uh, ramparts before I get here. So, yeah. That felt pretty good. Apparently my resistances are very high and I didn't take a lot of damage from the dragon, so that's good. Obviously I should not charge the dragon, I'm not a fool. Although if I recall correctly, I can uh, cut his tail off and get something? It's been a while. Just thinking about how scared I used to be of the giant metal boar. And he's still annoying, don't get me wrong. Thought I hit him in the rump. But I'm not terrified of him like I used to be. Terrified of him like I used to be. Oh my god, that was brutal! I'll be honest with you, I forgot the about the sheer volume of archers I was going to have to deal with. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead! Yay! Uh, yes, please. I 100% did not endure, uh, sorry, earn this helmet. One of the things I most appreciate about this game is the way you can find, and I say find, kill and take, uh, the costume off of literally every enemy in the game. Okay, well, figuratively every enemy in the game. Doing his little chant to summon enemies to attack me. Teaming up with them to just brutally slaughter me. Yeah, we've all been here before. Oh my god! I'm totally getting killed by these guys. That's right, I'm cheating, and I still got killed by these guys. No, don't invade. I'm cheating. Although, honestly, at this state, I'm sure my cheating would not help me not get killed. Gargoyle time. So what's the over-under on me turning and needing to turn on god mode? Pretty high, right? Oh yeah, we're turning on god mode. Well, I almost did it. No, I didn't. It wasn't even close. Hey, Hoguru. Maybe stop running directly into his fire. It's weird that I never noticed that the two gargoyles have different looks to them. I was always so busy getting killed that it never occurred to me to check. Well, lesson learned. I didn't cut off the guy's tail, though, so that was not much of an accomplishment. Oof. 
God mode off. Well, we did it. We rang the bell in the undead church. Now all that's left to do is head to Blight Town and get the much, 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 much harder bell. Uh, seriously, though, I gotta say, my assessment of playing this while cheating like a dog has been uh, one of delight. I've really enjoyed this. It has smoothed all of the rough edges off of the Dark Souls experience, and I cannot recommend cheating at Dark Souls highly enough. Honestly. That's famously true. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Indictment. Nice. Uh, yeah, I've never messed around with the multiplayer stuff in this at all. I've had friends help me. I've fought off invaders once or twice, but generally this is not something that uh, I've experimented with at all. More importantly, though, uh, I cannot recommend cheating at this game highly enough. It feels great. As I said, it streamlines the experience, and uh, yeah, I 100% encourage people to cheat like a dog when playing Dark Souls. It the game's if you're not going to turn on uh, God mode, which as you see, I only did once and got killed for my trouble. If you're not going to turn on God mode, despite you know cheating yourself to having the highest possible stats, the game still requires a surprising amount of skill because. Ah, uh, how do I put this? Careful. Thank you. Damage you take and damage you do in this game is more based on the weapons and armor you have rather than the uh, amount of your stats. Kajito ergo sum. Since we're early in the game and haven't had the chance to get good weapons yet, you're far from impervious or impossibly deadly. So just something to think about. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's some buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. Ow. Uh, special thanks to the good people at Plitch for providing me with the uh, premium account so I could try this out. There is a free version of the software, but the kinds of uh, cheats you have access to are very paltry. I think you might be able to buy extra, like, a hundred souls at a time. Which, of course, means you have infinite souls, because you can just jam on that button over and over again. But even still, just having access to a lot of souls isn't going to help you with the game as much as quickly uh, upping your stances. I will see you back here for more cheating at video games, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.